wanted to have our own gallery. But then also at that time, as far as craft was concerned, there wasn't a lot of visible signs of professional craft in the city. Uh, there were retail craft fairs that we organized and all of these craftspeople would appear from their studios and their homes and sell their, sell their work at the Christmas craft fair and then they would all disappear and you wouldn't see them again until the next craft fair. They weren't there in the community, it wasn't a part of everyday life and we thought if we had a building we would have a permanent place in the community where people could come and see fine craft every day and that that would mean it was more part of everyone's life. So we wanted a permanent, physical place and presence in the community. We wanted a gallery of our own, and we also wanted an asset, because we thought we could probably get some grants back in 1991 to buy a building, but that might not last forever. And so sure enough, <laughs> we managed to get enough grant support from both the federal government and the provincial government to purchase this building and uh, moved here on the 30th of April. 1991.